Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Sony Sing Physics. Friends, you know that exams are coming. So in this video, I am going to discuss with you one of a very important topic of physics that is magnetism. Friends, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Press the notification bell to get all the updates as soon as possible. In this video, I will discuss in detail about magnetism and the next video, I am going to discuss some board exam questions related to magnetism. What is a magnet? A magnet is a material or object that produces an invisible magnetic field which can attract to ferromagnetic materials and it can attract or repel other magnets. Now we will come to know what is ferromagnetic material? The ferromagnetic materials are those substances which exhibit strong magnetism in the same direction of the field when a magnetic field is applied to it. Common examples of ferromagnetic substances are iron, nickel, cobalt, etc. Nowadays, neodymium element is used to make magnet. Metallic alloys like steel and rare earth magnets are also classified as ferromagnetic materials which get attracted or repelled by a magnet is known as magnetic material. But you know some people think that all the materials are magnetic material. Do you know how, how we can test it? How we can know that which material is magnetic and which is non-magnetic? It is very easy. Very easy to know which is magnetic and which is non-magnetic. I will show you. This is a magnet. Now I will take some things near it. We will see that. Uh, I have brought this pins. This is paper pins. And when I... Okay. See. So we can say that the material through which this uh, pins has been made. This is a magnetic material because it is getting attracted by a magnet. Now I will bring some other material like this cane. This is made up from aluminium. We will see what is the effect. effect? No effect. It means this is non-magnetic material. So then there is another thing also. Look at this. This is a copper wire. And this is iron nail. Copper is a metal. You know that. And this is iron is also metal. But we will see right now that all the metals are not a magnetic material. Just see now. So, iron is a magnetic material. But just see about copper. No effect. So, copper is a non-magnetic material. So, this is a very easy way to test which type of material is magnetic and which is non-magnetic. Do you know? Can we make a magnet? Can we magnetize material? Yes, it is possible. You can magnetize any magnetic material by bringing a permanent magnet in contact. And that contact, how it is? We have to rub. If you rub a magnetic material on a permanent magnet, then after some time that material will convert into a magnet. That magnet attracts and repels things. So there is something in the magnet, you know. There is a force which used to attract and repel. So this force is known as magnetic force. Force because of which magnet attracts or repel objects. That is called magnetic force. Now the second thing is when you observe a magnet everywhere there is not a same strength. Some part of the magnet is having more strength and some part of the magnet is having less strength. So what, what is that? That is called poles where the strength of the magnet is maximum. And at the center of a magnet, its strength is minimum. You know, every magnet have two poles. North pole and south pole. North and north will... Oh my God. I am trying to bring it together. But I am feeling a force around it, you know. So maybe they are same pole. And... This is opposite pole. So that is a rule of magnetism. Same pole or like pole repels. And unlike pole or different pole 
attracts. So if you bring north and north together, they will repel. And if you bring north and south together, they will get attracted. Magnetic field. The magnetic field is the area around a magnet in which there is magnetic force. All magnets have north and south pole. Opposite poles are attracted to each other while the same poles repel to each other. The shape of the field. Now we will come to know what is the shape of a magnetic field. A magnetic field is invisible. Here there are two ways to show up the shape of the magnetic field around a bar magnet. The first one is with the help of iron filings. When we sprinkle iron filings on a bar magnet, then these tiny iron filings arrange themselves in this pattern. Tiny pieces of iron cluster together and line up to show the field patterns something like this. Second method is with the help of compass needle. When you use a compass needle, when you keep a compass needle near a bar magnet at a different position, then we can get a field pattern like this. Magnetic field patterns is something like this. Field line starts from north and enters through south. This is a magnetic compass through which we can know magnetic field pattern. Now we will come to know magnetic field pattern between same poles and different poles. Magnetic field lines starts from north and enter through south. In the first diagram you can see field patterns for a bar magnet. Magnetic field lines started from north and entered through south. The second diagram belongs to a bar magnet when two different poles in front of each other. And you can see field lines are passing from north of one magnet to south of other magnet. But in the third picture when same poles are facing to each other then there is a blank created at the center. It means there is a repulsion. Now we will come to know why magnetic field lines are closed curves. This is a field pattern for a bar magnet. The reason is inside a magnet direction of magnetic force is south to north and outside it is north to south and when we connect the force direction it will form a loop. Now we will come to know what is the strength of magnetic field. Strength of magnetic field depends upon distance from the magnet. Field strength is highest where field lines are closer. What is domain? Domain is a very important property of a magnetic material and domain is responsible for magnetic force in any magnet. A magnetic domain is a reason within a magnetic material in which the magnetization is in a uniform direction. Magnetic domain structure is responsible for the magnetic behavior of magnetic material. If you see these two diagrams, the first one, the domains are loose and random magnetic domains. And in the second one, when we bring a magnet under certain conditions, when the magnetic force has to be produced, then immediately all the domains will line up in a series and then magnetic force will start working in same direction. So actually in ferromagnetic materials, smaller group of atoms bond together into areas called domains in which the electrons have the same magnetic orientation. It means all the electrons will move in the same direction. Do you know? Can we make a magnet? Can we magnetize material? Yes, it is possible. You can magnetize any magnetic material by bringing a permanent magnet in contact. And that contact, how it is? We have to rub. If you rub a magnetic material on a permanent magnet, then after some time that material will convert into a magnet. When you rub a piece of iron along a magnet, the north seeking poles of the atoms in the iron 
line up in the same direction. The force generated by the aligned atoms creates a magnetic field. The piece of iron has become a magnet. So this is one of the method how we can make a magnet. We can make a magnet by rubbing. This is the information that why our earth behaves like a magnet and what is the thinking of a scientist about it. The earth is a magnet. Scientists do not fully understand why but they think the movement of molten metal in the earth's outer core generates electric current. The currents create a magnetic field which with invisible lines of force flowing between the earth's magnetic poles. Their geomagnetic poles are not the same as the north and south poles. Earth's magnetic poles often move due to activity far beneath the earth's surface. Now we'll come to know what is the difference between permanent magnet and a temporary magnet. Bar magnet or permanent magnet, they are permanently magnetized. They are usually made of hard materials. The strength of magnetic field lines are constant. It cannot be varied. The poles of a permanent magnet cannot be changed. Example of permanent magnet is a bar magnet. In temporary magnet, the magnetic property is present temporarily and are usually made of soft materials. Strength of magnetic field lines can be varied according to our need. The poles of electromagnet can be altered. Example of a temporary magnet is solenoid, wounded across a nail and connected to a battery. Thank you. Do you know, can we remove magnetic property from a magnet? Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. If you hammer a magnet for a long time, then its magnetic property will disappear. If you heat this magnet for a long time, its magnetic property will disappear. But what will happen if you break it? If you break it into several pieces, will the magnetic property go or not? It won't. Each piece will convert into a small tiny magnet. And each piece will have its pole, that is north pole and south pole. So when you break a magnet into pieces, it will convert into small, small different magnets.